Troy Shaw here, editor and publisher of Community Strong Magazine. And today I'm at the Milwaukee Brotherhood's Firefighters Mission Center. Here today there is a large gathering of individuals here in support of the family in regards to Derek Williams' death. Derek Williams, if you do not know, was an individual who died just recently, I should not say it just recently, but a year ago in police custody. Just recently, the video to that death was released to the public. This gathering is in response to that tape being released and to Derek's family and to that death. You will subsequently see and view interviews from individuals who are participating in the discussion because there's a movement that is starting and that movement is for Derek and his family and justice. Here is what happened. When we remember Zion, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? So many of us, Milwaukee has become a strange land. For so many of us, Milwaukee feels like Babylon. See, for the people who wrote that song, they were no longer in their homeland. They were no longer in their safety. They were no longer with their family and friends. They wondered what in the world is going on. People are not saying everybody's bad. However, there's a lack of trust due to the current culture of the current police department, and only the community can come together and change some of those things. His death isn't in vain, and we'll be working hard to make sure that his, his girlfriend and her children, the children he left behind, will know that their father's death is not in vain. There's some things that need to happen in Milwaukee, and we're, we're, we matter, and we're here tonight together as a combined group to say, now the community is at the table, and the community is here, and that's been the missing piece to some of our heels in Milwaukee. We're looking forward to, to having a, an excellent night, a good night of, of sharing, communicating, and dialogue. And then we'll catch up at the end of the evening. Do you believe that, do you believe that the African American community has been marginalized due to this type of incident? And the responses that the African American community have made when incidents like this have happened before, you haven't seen this thing. Do you think we've been marginalized? Well, not only marginalized, uh, there's classism and there's colonialism. You got colonies of people. You know, you got the South Side has the Latino community. There's a, there's a Hmong community. Everybody's in their economic spaces and places. However, believe it or not, when one suffers in our city, we all suffer. That is Keith Bailey, one of the organizers of tonight's event. Stay tuned as part two, we showcase John Safran, the attorney for the family. That's Community Strong, your community magazine.